Greetings! It's me, Hikari Knight, with a new video, and uh, I haven't been making content regularly because of my own health and uh, life. I want to get things sorted out first before I actually dedicate myself to actually create any content. But I'm a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, and I have wanted to play Kingdom Hearts 3, and I really hope that it would be on Steam. However, sadly, it is on Epic Game Store when it came to PC. Uh, I managed to get it for cheap, like dirt cheap, and it's probably going to be the only game I've ever paid for on Epic Game Store. But the uh, the thing is, I wanted to try and get it to run on Linux, see how hard it was. All the guides say use uh, Proton 5.13. Or uh, installed Media Found uh, Foundation pack for um, Wine or Proton. Both of those options didn't work for me. So I started investigating because I got fatal error if I tried to install the Media Foundation pack. If I tried to use uh, Proton 5.13, the game just wouldn't run. And. Uh, if I tried a new version of uh, Proton or Wine, I would just get a black screen. Currently the game is running, and I found out how to get it running consistently every single time. So, first thing first, the game is currently running at a resolution scale of 75%. This is only so that I can actually record this as I'm playing it. Uh, without the resolution scale set at the uh, if I set the resolution scale to uh, 100% I will be the recording will be lagging and uh, you won't have a consistent uh, uh, FPS at all so currently the game is running quite fine it controls really well uh, I'm currently playing with the controller but there is no controller support while you run the game on Linux for some reason I don't know why but since I own a Steam controller, I mapped it uh, up specifically so that I can actually play it. And I can show the configuration on screen right about now. So this is the configuration that I have, where right trigger is E, right, uh, right bumper is R, uh, start is M, B is space, A is enter, X is mouse right, Y is F, select is N, left bumper is uh, left shift, and the left trigger is left alt. Uh, I am going to change left alt to um, B X, uh, specifically because that's the only option that is actually missing. The good thing about this game is that the keyboard controls and the uh, controls for the... Um, controller is almost one by uh, one to one so you won't get any like awkward button presses to do specific things anyways the game is running as you can see the game is running fine and even when there is lots of stuff going on on the screen it will also still be running fine So if I now go to... Okay, I have to actually go to here to uh, quit. So if I... If I quit the game... Okay, if I go here and stop the game... For some reason it hung up, he didn't ask me, hey, do you want to quit? Now, this is the Heroic Games Launcher. It's the, it's like the Epic Game Store, but for, uh, for Linux. Uh, I have installed the Flatpak version, as a disclaimer, because when Heroic updates, I want to have the updates automatically, instead of me having to go to GitHub and download the installer again. So that's a convenience for me. 
So, disclaimer, this is the Flatpak version. If there's any problem with the natively installed version from the Git, uh, from GitHub that it doesn't go through Flatpak, then uh, keep that in mind. It might actually help you fix the issues. So anyway, currently the game is set to use uh, Proton 5.13. How do you get Proton 5.13? Well, you need to go to Steam, go to your library, and here where it says games, software, etc. You want to make sure that tools are selected, then you can search for Proton, and then you can download every single, like, quote-unquote, important version of Proton that uh, have confirmed games working specifically only for those versions of Proton. Here we have 5.13, but you... so you should download that and install it. And we have 4.11. This one is very important that you actually download, and I will explain ex exactly why. It says that it has an update for it for me. That, uh, that's fine. I'm not going to update it for this vi uh, for this video. I'm going to update it later. Now back to Heroic Games Launcher, and se I've set it to um, run Proton 5.13. Now, if I click play again, you saw that the game was already uh, running fine for me. If I click play, you will see that something. Well, it doesn't start. I can click play again, and it. Again, it doesn't start. But what gives? It played earlier. You saw it. Well, if I go to tools and click on la uh, latest log, you see there isn't anything useful here. It says that it can't detect a running instance of Steam. That is fine. But it didn't give a hard error. So if I go here and then I select Proton 4.11, very important. Then I click play now, and again, it doesn't work. What gives? Do we have any other errors when I go to check the latest log? No, same error, but it uses 4.11. Now, if I go back to settings and set it back to 5.13, and then I click play now, Now it will actually run. It stays there for longer. It's saying playing. Uh, I had the option to stop it, but I'm not going to stop it because it's going to actually f fire up the game. <laughs> and here it is. The game is starting up. Everything is working fine. I have no idea why you need to swap uh, swap the uh, Divine version to 4.11. Start the game let it fail and then you have to switch to 5.13 and then play again. But... This is how I reliably can make it work. It is weird, I don't know why... But I'm okay with this. It's a very obscure solution. And it... I'm not surprised that nobody has found out this. For those that actually have problems with 5.13. Now, as you can see on the FPS counter, the game does actually run at like 50-60 frames per second. It, it works really, 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 really well. Now, the only thing that I, uh, the only caveat to this that I have noticed is that you need to make the prefix with 4.11. Let it fail on the launch and then swap it to 5.13. After that, you have a prefix that is, for some re magical reason, works. You just need to swap it to uh, 4.11 and then uh, try and play, and then back to 5.13 each time you actually want to launch the game. So, if you already have a prefix, you can uh, go back to settings, and this is the prefix. You want to copy this, and then you just have to run the rm-r, and then the path that uh, is for your wine prefix for Kingdom Hearts. And then uh, you just want to mkdir to make, it, to make the directory new. Then you want to launch the game with uh, Proton 4.11, and when it fails, you then swap it to 5.13, 5, uh, 5 and then you launch it again, and the game will run. But it will only run once. 
And after that, you just have to swap it back to 4.11, uh, 4 try and uh, launch the game, and let it fail, and then swap it back to 5.13. I've tried other versions of Proton and Wine to uh, to see if I could use a newer version for of Proton or Wine to get controllers to work, but no. 5.13, only version that actually works from what I have experienced. So, I hope that actually helps you. Uh, I've not gotten GameScope to work with the game. The game will actually start lagging if I try to run it with GameScope. So, resolution scale 75% is the only one that I could say if you have problems streaming the game from Linux. But yeah, the, the game works. And uh, I have my own custom controller uh, profile for it, which you should be able to use as long as you have uh, a way to make your controller uh, in do keyboard and mouse inputs. And uh, we're back into the game, and uh, to prove that it's the same game, we're gonna load up into the same uh, location that we were already before, because I'd already saved there. Also, the game will look a bit cut off because um, I haven't put it into full screen mode. I can do that. And uh, now it will not be in full screen mode and it will actually have... Uh, it will have those bars on the side, but that's because I'm not in full screen. Uh, I'm in borderless window mode. But yeah, as you can see... Again, we're we're back into the game. Everything works fine. So yeah, I hope this video will actually help someone else who has the problem to run the game. And I really, really hope that this game someday will come to Steam so that we don't have to deal with garbage like this. Because on Steam, the problems that you have with the other Wine versions doesn't exist because it's related to the Media Fundi uh, Foundation uh, file uh, files and stuff, which Steam or Valve automatically transcodes on the server side so you actually get them and you don't have to deal with those shenanigans. So if this game actually comes out on Steam, it should work immediately, like day one launch. It should work in Wine uh, and it should work on any version of Wine, not just 5.13. So yeah, again, you want the Heroic Games Launcher and install the game from uh, from there. And you want to go to Steam, download Proton 4.11 and uh, 5.13. I have tried other versions of Proton and do the switcheroo combo and it doesn't work. It, on it only works with 4.11 and then switching to 5.13. And then you come back to Hero Game Launcher, you set the Vine version to be Pro uh, Proton 4.11. You start the game, let it fail, switch to 5.13, play the game, everything will work. I've not got Mango HUD to work, I will try to get it to work, but I don't think it will work on the Flatpak version, I'm sorry. But the game is playable, I can enjoy the game, I'm happy. And that's really all there is to it. Because I know that a lot of people are having problems with running this game. Uh, the, this, this solution is really weird and obscure, and that's probably why the, people haven't actually found out why this game is so inconsistent in running on Linux. It works. It works flawlessly. There's just that startup issue that is the problem that everybody seems to actually get uh, uh, caught up with. Anyways, I will see you all later, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.